The Texan, starring Rory Calhoun. How do? How do you do? I'm looking for Mr. and Mrs. Julian Dowd of Philadelphia. Philadelphia, yes, sir. Uh, well, sir, they haven't come in yet, but we expect them on the next train. Good. I'll be needing a room. Name's Longley. Yes, sir. Liberty Stables one block down. Go to Stringston Town in there. That I can use. I'm going to get me that Texan under it. <laughs> you better quit while you're ahead, Doug. <laughs> Seems like you're still carrying that lead metal he gave you Laredo. <laughs> this far west, and you insist on bringing hats. This far west, you insist on bringing me. Let's forget it. But I must say, I don't think too much of your Uncle Henry's railroad. And I don't imagine Uncle Henry thinks too much of you either, Julian. Of course, now, he didn't go to Princeton. Uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Dowd? Mr. and Mrs. Julian Dowd of the Marion Hunt Club Dowd. Stop being an idiot, Anne. You got my wire? Yes, sir. Everything's all ready, Mr. Dowd. I took the liberty of sending up a tub for you. The hot water will be right up. I thought you'd like to clean up after your trip. I sure would. Right after I have my bath. Ladies first, remember? Do I ever get a chance to forget? Your money, your uncle, your stock farm. And your wild horses. Whatever makes you think that you could catch one? Don't worry, I'll catch some. I'll prove it to you. I think you're trying to prove something yourself. May I go up now? Thank you. If you could manage it, I'd appreciate a little of your bath water for a shave. Would you like it used or hot? As usual, cold. Coldest drinks in town. Uh, in there. Thanks. Be hard right for me to buy a drink all around? Why not? Your money, our business. There you go. Drink up, boys. My name's Julian Dowd. Tug Swan. You, uh, in town on business? You might say that. Matter of fact, came out west to catch wild horses. Sound crazy? Well, I mean it. My wife and I grow horses on our stock farm back east. Heard a lot about these wild stallions. Thought maybe a new bloodline might help. It didn't in his family. <laughs> Mr. Dowd, I'm Bill Longley. Can I have a word with you? Sure. Glad to. I used to work for Henry Carson. He wrote and asked me if I'd give you a hand. He's just the man to give somebody a hand. With a gun in it. <laughs> you don't mind, Mr. Dowd. I'd like to talk a little more privately. Speak right up. Sure, you're among friends. I doubt that. You mind? Like Tug says, we're all friends here. Speak right up. Mr. Dowd, I'm only doing this as a favor to your Uncle Henry. Not my uncle, my wife's. You want me to go or don't you? Wild horses are no picnic. I didn't come all the way out here to go on a picnic. All right, then, let's forget it. I'll ask Anne to explain to Uncle Henry. Anne, I don't think I like your manners. You don't, eh? Well, if it wasn't for that gun on your hip... Then what? I feel it only fair to tell you that I was middleweight boxing champion at Princeton. I'm glad to hear that. Goodbye. 
Long has always been a dirty fighter. Must have caught you off guard, huh? He sure got something. You know him from before? Yeah. Tug knew it. Took him two months to heal up his introduction. <laughs> you shut up. You know, someday somebody's going to put down enough chips for me to call that Longley's hand. Door's open, Julian. Come on in. Not Julian, it's Bill Longley. Oh, Bill Longley, you old coward. Come on in. Oh. It's been a long time. Say, you've really grown up. Oh, all you remember the pigtail. I remember teaching you to ride Western Saddle. Oh, that wonderful summer vacation. Uncle Henry's ranch. You were my first schoolgirl crush. Well, you should have told me. <laughs> I just got a letter from your Uncle Henry. He wanted me to go along on a trip, but uh, I just met your husband. Oh, well, that would make a difference, yes. It did. I'm not going. Oh, yes, you are. You don't think I'm going out chasing wild horses with Julian in command, do you? Oh, no. Well, I hope you left me enough water for a shave. Oh, great. May I ask what the devil you're doing in my wife's room? Yeah, you could ask. Well, I'll say goodbye, and good luck on the trip. Oh, no, you don't. You're coming. Well, you wouldn't want to disappoint Uncle Henry, would you? No, I wouldn't want to disappoint him. I'll stop by in the morning, anyway. What is this? Anything you'd like to make of it. Oh, I knew Bill Longley when I was a child on my uncle's ranch in Texas. Texas. So now you're going for these outdoor boys. I don't go for boys. I go for men. Message received. Thanks. You know, an Easterner like him's bound to have money on him. He should have found out. Well, here's our chance. I would like to buy another drink. No, this is on me. Ed. Thanks. I need it. You look to me like a man that's got uh, wife trouble. You might call it that. You could also call it tall and handsome and from south of the Red River. So you made up your mind that you don't like him either, huh? Now wait. I'm not going for table stakes. I guess I'm a bit soft in your books, but I have a little idea that might interest you. Mm -hmm. We're leaving for Paint Canyon in the morning. Suppose you boys staged a hold-up. A fake hold-up. A uh, fake hold-up? That's right. And when I come out shooting, drive you off, my wife believes it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Longley be there? Probably. You don't mind if we rough him up a little, do you? Why should I mind? How much will you pay us? Two hundred to start. Three more on delivery would be fair enough. Fair enough? Fair enough, if Longley's there. We'll set up for you at Paint Canyon about uh, morning after tomorrow, all right? You've got a deal. Did you see that money belt on him? I didn't miss it. Looks like the blue chips are down. What are we playing for? Bill Longley. <laughs> She's a little frisky, Mr. Dowd, but the best mare in the stable. Don't worry, I can handle it. Wish I could handle my wife half as well. <laughs> I was lucky to get your huelo there. He's not only the best cook in these parts, plays a mighty pretty guitar. 
Good food, good music. What more could you want? Careful, Willow. My husband had that sent all the way from France. Si, senora. My guitar come all the way from Spain. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, I see you brought your bedroll. Man's best friend, never travel without it. That means you're going with us. Well, I thought it over. I don't think it's such a good idea. Hi. Before anything else, I want to say I'm awfully sorry about yesterday. It's all my fault. But I'm sure glad my acting like an idiot didn't stop you from coming with us. You are coming, aren't you, Bill? Now, we need you. I'll go. Good place to camp. Water for the stock. There's your herd right over there. Look at that stallion. <laughs> like the making camp. We'll cut up for the Arroyo and wait for him at Paint Canyon. You <laughs> sure you can wait that long, Tug? <laughs> Paint Canyon. Brandy, Bill? No, thanks. Not this high up in the hills. It hits you too quick. Dinner was wonderful, Waylo. How about a little music for dessert? Hmm? Seguramente, senora. anybody'd mind if I went to bed. Well, guess I'll check the horses. bad time, didn't you? Why? I'm a big girl now. And a married one. Married to a jealous little boy who rides to the hounds on Sunday. Nothing wrong with riding to the hounds, if you like it. I suppose there's nothing wrong with marrying me for my money, either. Huh? I don't think that's why he married you. Bill, I told you. I've never forgotten that summer in Texas. You were the first real man I ever met. Maybe the only one. Julian's not so bad. Might do better if you gave him a chance. He had plenty of chances. Maybe not the right one. Come on, you better get some sleep. Yeah. Let's call it a day.
Just out for a walk. Is that it? That's it. With your old chum Longley. If that's your description of him. But I'll tell you one thing. Bill Longley's decent. And he's a real man. Meaning I'm neither. <sighs> Take it any way you like. If you're such a man, why don't you do something to prove it? I will. We do a lot of wrong things in this country, but we don't beat up women. What am I going to do? I don't know. If we get some sleep, maybe it'll help. Give me a hand. How is he? It's not serious. He's sleeping. You see, you can't always judge a man until the big one comes along. I was really amazed the way he jumped right in there. Well, courage is where you find it. Sometimes you can get real surprised. And you know, Bill, now that I saw it tonight with my own eyes, I guess I'll have to believe it from now on. I would. Well, we'll see how he shapes up in the morning. You might get that stallion yet. Good night. Good night. And Bill, thanks for everything.
Julian down! You looking for me? Sure sounds like it. I came to pay you the rest of what I owe you. Where's Longley? Back at camp. I came alone. Deal's off. You just take your money and forget it. No work. Longley's part of the deal. No, I just forget the whole thing, Tuck. That's fine. Just drop, drop it. Oh, so it's a real holdup. Yeah, the gun belt too. Yeah, I don't go in much for play acting. Can I go now? I don't think so. You talk too much, and. I don't mind shooting pigeons. I'm gonna try to get behind him. stepped out in the open to draw his fire and warn me. Thanks. I knew you didn't see him going on behind you. Fine thing. Where have you two been? I was out for a little ride. That's right. Come down from there and let me look at your head. Let's go. 